My name is Zelal and I'm a 10th grader in Başşehir uh, Science and Technology uh, High School. Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm interested in physics and math and uh, we're also uh, working on engineering projects. So Yama can continue. Okay, uh, I'm a senior at Diyarbakir Başşehir Science and Technology High School, which is located in Turkey, Diyarbakir. Uh, I'm also interested in mathematics and physics. Uh, I'm Arjun. Hello, everyone. Uh, well, I was in the same high school with Yamur uh, Zelal, Yamur Burmak, and uh, Damma. But afterwards, I graduated, and then right now, I am studying uh, in New York University, Abu Dhabi, and currently studying political science and economics. Okay, so I'm Damla. Um, I'm a I'm a rising senior in the same high school, and I'm interested in chemistry. I want to be a chemist one day. And like I share the same feelings as Avjan, I'm really excited to be here and speaking on the stage. Uh, the main purpose of our project to, is to uh, prevent the water contamination problem and also protect uh, clean water resources. Uh, so we addressed, uh, so our project addressed one of the uh, one of the greatest causes of uh, water contamination. Uh, washing machines. So our project involves uh, a, a, a technical system to filtrate uh, the dirty part water from washing machines and recycle and reuse the water. Uh, so basically the technical system works like uh, there's a uh, there's a five centimeter uh, height uh, water tank on the washing machine uh, and this water tank uh, in the water tank uh, collects the clean water and sends the water to the drum where the uh, washing process works. Uh, then the dirty water uh, goes to the uh, goes to a filtration system uh, where we use the hollow fiber filtration technology uh, and clean the uh, and filtrate the water. Um, then the purified water goes to the tank again, and this process uh, this process goes. Uh, many times. I think like the inspiration behind that was um, something quite weird. There was this conspiracy in our school about uh, uh, school water being contaminated by some brain eating bacteria. It was it was a conspiracy, but uh, I think it caused a quite a sensation in the school and no one drinks school water. And we thought that maybe, okay, we can focus on uh, water problem and look into water contaminants. And from that, we learned a lot about our uh, city's water resource. There was this river basin, which was popular around the nation. And I think it was at the danger of being too contaminated to be used as a water resource. So we wanted to you know, look into um, resources that contaminate this river basin and eventually settled on washing machines, which is actually quite not quite logical because washing machines aren't that big of a contaminator. But I think uh, we were super enthusiastic about washing machines because each of us saw a different potential in it. There were like some specific challenge that we faced as a whole girls, um, as a whole girls group. Because obviously, let's say when we wanted to go and prototype uh, our washing, like our washing machine device, uh, we literally went to like the industrial area in our city and then it is like whole, you know, like <laughs> uncles of 40, 50 years old. And obviously like they are like trying to figure out like, you know, uh, what, what these girls are doing out here. And also obviously, you know, convincing your parents to go there is another concern. But obviously uh, after all these stages, having the mentor to um having the like like actually like mentors that guide you as specifically in this uh area is so difficult to find uh but thanks to the earth prize and our um school like counselor Demil teacher uh we found like we connected with like so so many like entrepreneurs um and like especially after getting like passing the stage of like finalist, we connect with connected with like um, many, you know, worldly known oh, 
like entrepreneurs who dedicated their lives to uh, water contamination issue. For the future steps, um, currently we are all, we are in connection with some manufacturers in our area. Uh, we are trying to bring this project to life as soon as possible, but obviously this is like a very hard and yeah time time taking process. Um, for example, yeah, we have applied to uh, to our IP rights to, to take some IP rights for our uh, for our patent. We are also uh, trying to um, connect with other people in this region to inspire them to do their work. Other than like exactly our not this is not uh, exactly under the scope of our project, but it's kind of a thing that we are trying to do as a team. Uh, so we are trying to connect with other students from our school or other students from our area who are inspired, who have some idea, who don't know what to do. We are trying to um, uh, inspire them to, yeah, basically uh, get their project live, realize them, realize their project. So I believe the first thing that they should do is to find peers as passionate as they are because like brain like brainstorming or putting yourself out there is not uh, a one person thing to do if it was not for my group i would not definitely achieve anything anything of this uh, without like by myself when you come up with an idea uh you really need to ask yourself almost every day why haven't this been done before what is missing uh, is there any problem with this? If no, why can't I do it right now? I mean, like, is this something that can, I can execute right now, tomorrow or a month later? Is this something I can view myself doing? And like, I can see in our world, these questions like kind of uh, seem like quite simple questions that all of us maybe ask to ourselves. But if like you can personally answer these questions, you will have the courage to present your idea to others.